Are you a full-time RVer? Do you enjoy your travel? Oh my goodness, do I have a story for you. Hi, I'm Steve Turtle and I'm a work camper. And as you know, Jill and I, we're traveling. We're headed south. We're headed for our next work camper adventure. If you're a return visitor, welcome back. If this is your first time here, you should subscribe and ring that bell. If you ring the bell, you'll get a notification every time I post a new story. You don't wanna miss one. Our travel trailer is not new to us. However, it is new to us pulling it down the road. It's a little bit bigger and a little bit heavier than our previous travel trailer. And securing everything inside and out is a little different too. Who cares? My repurposed bumper rack is holding up just as designed. I, I'm pretty impressed. I thought for sure it would fall off the first 100 miles. That'd be just my luck. You know how things go. Sometimes things are not all great when it comes to RV travel. Crap happens. Okay, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about our full-time RV travel for this week. We departed Dobbins Air Force Base Family Camp, bright and early about 9 a.m. A quick dump at the dump station, and we were on our way. Checking your trailer brakes is a very important step that you should do, but don't do it like I did it. <laughs> we left, I was going down the on-ramp to get on the interstate, got up to about 65 miles per hour, Merged into the lane, I looked down at my phone for just a second. I looked up, it was all red lights. Everybody was stopped. Caught me off guard, scared me a good bit. I had a pretty good uh, braking distance between me and the vehicle in front of me, but I had to lock them up. I locked them up and I stopped the vehicle before we crashed, but I tell you what, it scared me a little bit. The rest of the trip, I think for maybe 50 miles, I drove about 55 miles per hour. It was crazy, just all of a sudden everybody stopped and I was cooking. We had planned to stop at a couple national parks so Jill could get stamps for a national park pass book. They were closed. So we went straight through Montgomery, Alabama on 85 all the way down to Mobile, Alabama, picked up 10 and we headed for our destination in Mississippi. Just as we crossed into Mississippi, the travel trailer tire blew out. Scared me pretty good. I slowed it down to about 20 miles per hour, but all the damage was done. I couldn't stop, we were on a bridge. So I continued real slow across the bridge and just on the other side of the bridge, luckily was a rest stop. So I pulled into the rest stop. The blowout tore up all the insulation in the fabric from underneath the camper, punctured both my water lines that ran down above the tires and it tore up my wheel well shroud pretty bad. I pulled out my lug wrench didn't even fit my lugs. <laughs> I was so mad. I went ahead and called our roadside service. They showed up and they changed the tire. I cleaned up my mess, got everything all tightened up so we could travel and went ahead and continued down the road. We drove down to Keesler Air Force Base, Fan Camp in Biloxi, Mississippi. Got there around eight o'clock or so. It was a long, hard day. I got up bright and early about 9 a.m. Stopped by Lowe's, picked up some supplies so I could repair our water lines. Jill, she went over and caught up on some laundry. And then we just sort of sat around, relaxed, regrouped, AKA drink some Jack. We relaxed some more. We went for a walk, went down by the creek and <laughs> looked for alligators. We didn't find any. We left Keesler Air Force Base fam camp around noon with the camper in tow. We drove over to Southern Tire and bought some brand new <laughs> blowout proof camper tires. They did a very good job. We arrived, we pulled into the garage and they changed the tires while we sat in the truck and waited. Gave them a little money and we departed. After they replaced the tires, we went over to a restaurant, Twin Peaks, to catch some late lunch. Check out this parking lot. Nice and big and doesn't have a lot of curbs perfect for campers the way that it should be we got a late start so after we ate our late lunch we hit hit the road traveling down i-10 going west we finally ended our travel day at lafayette louisiana at a cracker barrel for some overnight free parking 
But really, is it free? Is it free parking? Woke up bright and early about 10 o'clock, went over to Cracker Barrel and had some breakfast. And then we paid. So is it really overnight free parking? I guess if you don't go in the restaurant, it is. So we went ahead and headed down the road to Schulingburg, Texas. That was our next destination for a really big date. Now I can drive pretty good. I keep my eyes on the road for the most part. I keep the truck and the camper in my own lane. The what's difficult about the driving is trying to watch everybody else, try to figure out what they're doing. So the next two cons only make driving more difficult. I forgot how fun it was to drive in traffic in and around the cities. If you drive the speed limit, they'll run you over. And in Texas at 75 miles per hour, they'll pass you, cut you off. It's crazy. I-10 is a mess. From Mobile, Alabama, all the way to Houston, Texas. It's a mess. Construction all over the place. Cement barriers, bumpy roads, potholes, expansion joints at the bridges. They're working on it, but all that does is make everything worse. Hey, look, look at this knucklehead. Why is he over here? Uh, look at him. He's riding a white line. After a long day on the road, we arrived at the Schulingburg RV Park in Texas. As soon as I got to the campground, I got the camper all set up, and William from Camper Life came by and picked me up. We're going to a meetup. We're going to meet some people. Texas Family Camping and Nursing Our Travel Bug. They hosted and cooked up some really good food. We sat around and chatted a little bit about YouTube, camping, and a whole lot more. There's some really awesome people and they have some awesome YouTube channels as well. Actually, I can yeah. Then you, need, I have the old then you need to move the camera a little bit. <laughs> can't, you, can't you get him out? <laughs> well, I've got William all the way to Bill. Let me fix my hair. Uh, I'll come pop a squat. <laughs> Alright, so he's going to go on seven seconds. Seven, seven, six, five, Three. four. Jill and I got up bright and early the following morning, about nine, ten o'clock, and then we set out for an adventure. We were going to check out the painted churches of Schulingburg, four active churches that allow you to visit them. Go inside and check them out between Monday and Saturday. Be prepared to have your breath taken away by the beauty found inside these churches. They are awesome. It was a wild and crazy five day adventure. Boy, I tell you, it was exciting. We had a good time though. We had planned to stop and do a little more visiting, but because everything was closed, we just more or less continued on down the road. But we made it to Texas and we're doing well. Well, that's our story for the week. I hope you enjoy this story. If you did, click like down below and smash that subscribe button if you'd like to hear more stories like this one. New stories every Wednesday, right here on this YouTube channel. And ring that bell. If you ring the bell, you get a notification every time I post a new story, because you don't want to miss one. Until later, thanks for your time. Bye.